the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. God bless you, man. I had, we had a great study today. We're talking about the fact is that, and let me see if I can bring up the uh, the slide. But the main thing is this. We need to be able to encourage one another. We really need to make sure we don't be deceived to do and go to the contrary of the doctrine of Christ. There's so many things I'm looking at in the past, and the past discrimination, everything else. It's all because people said that it's more important to, to this, be deceived. It will be to be deceived, willingly not study the word of God, willingly not understand the doctrine of Christ, and start to go after the doctrine of men. Sometimes we talk about the different political parties. We would do, we'll go with the things of a political party where it's okay to hate, it's okay to discriminate, it's okay to do all the bad things. Because you think about it, some of these political parties start all the way from the Atlantic slave trade, start all the way from 1776, start all the way when this first country brought in slaves or brought in indigenous servants. And said those things that they do atrocities toward mankind. All the bringing division, all the bringing of strength. And then all of a sudden we went through the slave trade, the sex plantations, the, the atrocities, the, 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 the brutalization. It's just not acceptable and contrary to the doctrine of Christ. And I'm trying to sit there and say to you, let us do the things that make for peace. Let us do the things that are puts into the doctrine of God. So that's what the study is about today. The fact is, let's not be duped. Because so many people have been duped. So many people have been deceived. So many people have lied to and tricked to do things and ignore the teaching of Christ. I'm saying is, let's see what, and I'm just saying it right now. Go by what the Word says. Does the Word tell you to discriminate? Does the Word tell you to hate? Does the Word tell you to not forgive? Or does the Word tell you to forgive? Does the Word tell you to love? That's the doctrine of teaching of Christ. And if you are operating outside of that, and you feel that it's okay because you're approved by man, I'm telling you, it's not man that's going to get you in eternal life. It's not man's doctrine. It's not political parties, not the color of skin, but it's the love of God. Follow the doctrine, people. Study to show yourself approved unto God. Hey, have a great, happy Father's Day. Joy, Juneteenth, tomorrow, 19th. Juneteenth, 19th. Tomorrow, reflect on it. We've got a lot of bad things went behind those people getting to the point where they can celebrate freedom. And then that's appropriate to be able to have a day of celebrating the, 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 the long so that we can celebrate the right that we're all free. And yet, even though we had to make an amendment, we're all free so that on the 4th of July, we can all say Independence Day. Every man being independent to choose. And God gives you the right to choose. And that choice is life through Christ. Amen. God bless you. Appreciate you listening. And we'll see you when we see you. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll break this down to like A, B, C, and D, as always, so that you enjoy. So enjoy the study. And I'll see you when I see you. God bless. Bye bye. Now you got a comment on that one, good brother. Because cause, cause it'd be good to hear it if you want to say something. Because that's a, as those who profess to be Christians, he said, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples if you have loved one to another. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah, well, with that being said, <laughs> and the condition of the world today. Come on now. If a person or a group of people decided to walk around in, in this love that, that described that us Christians supposed to be doing uh -huh. or living, you'd be looked at as 
a peculiar people. Mm, come on now. I like that. You would differentiate yourself from everybody else. Come on So now. therefore, he is very right. Woo. You will be identified. You'd be mocked. Come on. You'd probably be considered strange. Yeah. And then, like I say, then they will consider you an outcast. Mm-hmm. Or they will ostracize you either way. Yeah, yeah. And then, like I said, with a lot of the religions today, they try to go ahead and distinguish themselves by including themselves in another group. Mm-hmm. And I'm walking up here, that's why I'm breathing hard. Yeah. Um, they identify them with another group or put it this way, they disqualify, disqualify. other people yeah. from being in their groups. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And the bad thing about so, it is that, go ahead. No, you pay, you pay. The bad thing about it is their group is not heaven. Their group is not eternal life. I mean, in other words, that's not the, the objective to be part of any group, is it? I'm not trying to say you don't want to be, you can be in a group, but whether that group accepts you or not is irrelevant, isn't it? Because the ultimate decision maker is through Christ, right? That, that's, that's yes, sir. Whole, yes, sir. Yeah, that's the whole point for people who want everybody to know. I, I, Chris, I gave a scripture earlier that says is that all men, all of us, every last one of us, will give an account of ourselves to God. Every last one of us. And, and no, there ain't gonna be no, and I bet you agree with me, there ain't gonna be no pastor gonna sit there and, and, and advocate for you when you go before the throne of God. Do you, do you, do you know that? Do well, you know well, that's the way I. That's the way I feel about it. You're going to be judged for what you know, you what know. you were exposed to, and Come what on. you separated and rejected uh -huh. as being the truth of what's real. Exactly. Because in the end, Come on. you and God got a one-on-one -on -one relationship. One-on-one. -on -one. Come on. And, and that's what we're trying to tell people. You have a one-on-one -on -one relationship. And the scripture, just in case people don't know that scripture, and I'll, I'll show it to you right quick. Let me, I'm going to throw it back up there for people to see. It, just in case uh, they didn't catch that, Chris, I'm, I'm going to show real quick. It says right here in Romans, I put it on my slide. I keep it up there all the time, Chris. It's, it's one of my cover slides, even when I do a title. It says in Romans 14, 12, which is what you just said. So then every one of us should give account of himself to God. That's what that's what you just said too. You 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 paraphrase it. I'm giving it the 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 authority that comes from the word of God. Is that every last one of us, I don't care what kind of group you want to be in, what kind of group you want to be accepted in, what kind of group want to reject you, it doesn't matter. That group, in that group, Everybody in that group, everybody outside that group will give an account of himself to God. All of us will give an account of ourselves to God. Therefore, it's more important for us to be able to study the word of God so that we can do the will of God opposed to the will of a group or the will of a person or the will of a man. Because a man ain't going to put you in heaven or put you in hell. The Bible says God makes that decision. And if you sit there and trust a man to make that decision for you, you, you made a decision to go to the wrong place. Because you're going to go before God and say, well, I, I, Lord, I was trusting and <laughs> I, the man told me. <laughs> you know, they're going to say, oh, can, with the, uh, Brother Bastard, Chris uh, Anderson, I was talking last week, is Great. What, what you going to say when you go? What do you think people think they can say before they go? When they go before God, anyway? What what what, what are they going to say? Well, according to Pastor, somebody, somebody, I'm good. <laughs> my 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 toes been paid. They ain't gonna take an account of what they actually did <laughs> because the preacher told them, you know, 
pay X amount of dollars to donate to the church. Say, <laughs> hey, hey, hail Mary's, and you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. Yeah, you're going to tell Father, hey, fa Father, so and so, so he going to say, so and so told you. So, did so and so tell you that you got to give an account yourself? <laughs> you you, you got to give an account for what you did and what you do. You got to give an account for what you studied. You will give an account. You must give an account to yourself, of yourself. And it's not going to be based on what somebody said, because the Bible says in John 3, 16, it said, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him, not in the pastor, not in how much money you gave to the church, but in him, his son. And Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father. No one comes to the Father. No one comes to the Father but by me. If you don't go by him, you ain't going to the Father. So your group, again, you go by your group, right, Chris? You go by your group. You can go by your friend. You can go by your pastor. You can go by the money you gave. But you ain't going to get to the Father. Yes, sir. <laughs> And that's the critical thing. Yes, and that's what we're going to tell people. Just do what the word says. Go to the oh, way. Yeah. They gave you the way. Huh? Yeah, they got me thinking about that, that eye of the needle. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 the, the eye of the needle, we, we talked about it a couple of weeks ago. We were talking about the fact is that uh, a lot of people, uh, when they use the analogy of the needle, it was talking about the fact is that when you when the gate is closed and, and you're going through this smaller door to the, to the gate, and a camel will have to get on his knees and everything that's on the camel will have to be taken off. And that's what God is using that reference is you gotta get you gotta get rid of your stuff. And you gotta bow down if you wanna get through the needle. If you get into the city, well, he's saying the same thing as far as coming into the kingdom. You you got to get rid of your junk. You got to get rid of your prejudice, your racism, and everything else, so that you can bow down to him, not to people, not to groups. We all want to sit there and be accepted by people, but the fact is, we want to be accepted by God. That's the main thing we want to do. And let me see what the scripture says here. Six things, and, and that's the thing about these groups. Sometimes you talk about Christians. Six things that the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. This is Proverbs 6, 16, people. Because if your group is advocating these things, I think you got a, you got a problem. It says right there, these six things that the Lord hate. Yea, seven are abomination unto him. A proud look. A lying tongue, hand to shed innocent blood, a heart that advises wicked imagination, feet to be swift and run into mission, a false witness which goes up with lying tongue, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among the brothers. Now, now. Christians, some of these groups advocate these six things or quietly endorse those six things. A lot of them <laughs> quietly endorse them. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, but due to the political climate of the world or in America, yeah, they're making it okay now for you to even say it. <laughs> you can <laughs> profess it now. Yeah. I mean, it, it, you know, especially if you got different political parties, and, and or just just because you color your skin, people yes, coming sir. out of it, it, it's like, where are you coming? Why are you endorsing? Because you don't know. I tell them that, that's why I call the word that I just do to ignore the teaching of Christ. But most people probably even read this, the, 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 even the Bible in the sense of saying these are sick things that God hates. Or, you know, the ones in Galatians uh, chapter 5, the works of the flesh, right? 
they, 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 they told us it's okay to do all those things. And I'm sitting there saying, first of all, I want to say this. I'm not going to get offended because a person do those things. What I'm trying to tell people is, what does the word say? I, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed people get upset, Chris, because they feel that somebody who rejected Christ, those who, who uh, they call sinners, and, and, and look, bad thing about it, Chris, is all the, my scripture said all the sin and come short of the glory of God. Yes, sir. Meaning, we all have made mistakes, so we don't need to be condemning somebody. We need to be in pray and encourage somebody to do the right thing and understand that everybody has sinned and everybody is subject to sin. Everybody is subject to fall. So we ain't got time to hate or discriminate against anybody because we all got, we all, we, we, we have it arrived. Yes, sir. Like, so, we, like we usually say, we're works in progress. I'm a work, and, and see, it's, you know what? It's better to say that than to sit there and try to say, I'm gonna point a fade that you ain't, you, you, you know, somebody else's downfall or shortfalls, opposed to recognizing that we all got things to work on. And, and, and therefore, stop putting each other down, opposed to building people, each other up, you know? And the bad thing I hate is the one we talk about discrimination. See, I can't work on your color, your skin, can I? Oh, no, 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 no. You see what I'm saying? Some things, some things in politics is to go after what you are that they, you can't even fix. That's that's what I guess I, I I guess I wanted that's a bassism for you as far as I'm concerned. And I'm just, <laughs> it, 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 it's a good one. You try to you you going after things that I can't even fix. Yes, sir. And then, then you now you put somebody down. Now you trying to tell somebody they ain't say because they can't even fix. I can't change the color of my skin. I can't change if you're white. I can't change if you're black. I can't change if you're Hispanic. And then some of the other things we still got to work on. And, and yet we want to sit there like alcoholic. Use alcoholic for a good example, right? The, mm -hmm. the person, the reason the person alcoholic is because they got a they got a stronghold there, right? Yes, sir. And, and it takes. I know some people feel because they can just fix it right away. Mm -hmm. They 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 they, they can. I'm delivered. Yes, sir. Not, but not everybody can true, overcome true. those strongholds. Not right away. Yes, sir. And, and so therefore I'm saying is that to hate somebody because of that. And in some cases, murder people. And that's what we're talking about with the lynch and everything. You murdered me. You you you, you murdered people. Yeah, uh, but but see a lot of what what you're saying, and this is open to hit a bat here. Mm -hmm. A lot of these outward things that you see, like you say, you see the discrimination, you see the lynchings, you see all of that. That's just the outward manifestation of really an internal problem. Yeah, yeah. With either within yourself or mm -hmm. within the group or organization that you are with. Yeah, yeah. I was saying, I was looking at the, uh, I was looking at the study yesterday. I think I sent some of that to you guys on the video. Uh, was that the fascism? Well, I probably said that one out, but it was talking about the fact is that how politics and how things such the fascism and everything else is that politicians do mass hypnotic or mass deception to people using simple titles to to drive, you know get people to do bad things as a group. In other words, yes, a mob mentality is is hypnotized to the yes, point sir. that all they, they they just get the word, speak the word, and I'm gonna go in and take Black Wall Street and burn it down. I'm just gonna burn it down because we we there's somebody did something wrong. Well, you, you, you remember how that one came out, right? It, some young, well, the truth of the matter is some young man stumbled in an in a, in a elevator, you know, and touched somebody. But by yes, the time sir. he got to the mob, what, what was it? Oh, he, he, he raped somebody. Yes, sir. And, and, and now we're going to burn that. Look, they were going to burn the whole town down. And how many other towns have been burned down? 
And how yes, many other sir. people have been discriminated? I saw an article the other day where an F-22 F pilot, black pilot, he, he tried to quit because he, he tired of discrimination, you know, uh, in his elite group. He oh, still yeah, they, not accepted. Yeah, it they, happens all the time. It happened, it's been happening. And those people, the bad thing about I'm telling people is that he told you that like these things, these are sick things that he hate. And then there's a work in the flesh. He has not endorsed those things. This is this is first John 3 14, people. We know. You may like this one, Chris. Look at this. We know that we have passed from death unto life. Because we love, look, and see, this is a critical thing, people. <laughs> because we love the brethren. That, that's a deep statement there, right there. It says, we know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother, abide in death. Now, that would be interesting when the bass of himself that one. Because 15 says, whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life in him. Hereby we perceive we the love of God. Because we lay down, because he lays down his life for us. And we, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. Now, I, I, did, you, did you hear the word that came out of my mouth that I read for the word of God? Yes, I did. And, 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 go ahead. <laughs> this Ooh. is amazing to me because, like I I've been doing you know me, I read and study a lot of different stuff. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of this is kind of based a lot of, how can I say, alternative religions, alternative groups use a similar strategy or a similar oath. Uh -uh. Because that's what this can be construed as, as an oath. Mm -hmm. Because like you say, I have passed with my brother, mm -hmm. with my group. Uh huh. And then oh, it yeah. says, He that loveth not his brother mm -hmm. abideth in death. Yes, so sir. these groups, like I said before, you have to decide what are the Who's discriminators you? that are going to make you my brother or disqualify you from being my brother. And yes, one sir. of the simplest things to use to disqualify or make someone your brother is something your senses can use is your eyes. Mm -hmm. I can always see a difference in color. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Now, yeah. if I'm going to judge you from the inside, I can accept you as my brother more readily. Mm -hmm. But if I'm using my senses and Come my on. eyes, I can see the difference. Interesting. I can so you, touch the difference. Yes, sir. I do not. You check this one out, Pastor. I think I'm preaching right here. I do not have to have faith in you to discriminate against you. Oh, you can't. But, you won't have faith. You, exactly. You won't have faith. Now, if I have deep faith. I have to go by what's in my heart, what's told me, what I feel, my, what I want to say, my conscience or my inner God speaking to me uh -huh. to decide who's my brother and yeah. who's not. Right. I have to deny what I see, what I feel, which makes you walk in faith. Mm-hmm. On a daily and, basis. And, and the question, too, though, you actually had to be mindful to, 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 uh, of, of, the, of your, your fleshly thinking to even try to discriminate on God's creation and to just isolate it to just a selective few. 
because the Bible doesn't say. Matter of fact, I, for everybody else to listen to this, I had a, I wanted to show this too. Let me see if I can get it bigger. Enough. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eat is not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. And that's that's what we want to close up with. And that's what I want you to remember. Is the fact is we don't judge and condemn one another. We love one another. We work with one another. Amen. All right, so thank you for listening. We'll probably cover those scriptures again uh, next week, if the Lord is willing. But the fact is, don't be duped. Don't be deceived. Trust in God. Love one another. Encourage one another. So that we can all meet on high. As all nations, all families, all tongues, all kinders. Let's not take the man construct. Because man construct, social construct, can send you to eternal death. And I fear that so many people, especially since the Crusades, all the way up to now, generation and generations, I'm afraid that some of those people are not with the Father. The Bible says, absolutely, I'm so Absolute body is present in the Lord. That's only if you're in the Lord. And the Bible says, tree is no last food. Amen. Hey, we all got things to work on. But the main thing we can at least work on is not to condemn one another, but encourage one another. That's what I want to say. God bless you. I appreciate you listening. And I'll see you when I see you. Have a great holiday. Happy Father's Day. Happy June 19th. Enjoy, reflect on it, and rejoice freedom. It's for everyone. God bless you. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.